Hi, my name is Dan and I'm an instructor here with Esri. And what I'd like to show you all today is how we can work with version data offline with ArcGIS field maps. What we're looking at here is the service properties for the service we want to work with in an offline environment. What we want to verify is that sync is enabled on this service as well as the option to create a version for each downloaded map. Take note here, I'm working with branch versioned data. And what we're gonna see is that when we download a map, a version replica will get created, which allows users to sync with that version. And then we can post edits to default. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this is gonna happen for us. Let's go ahead and download an area. Let's say that we need to add some additional bike racks. Uh, we're uh, lots of good players in the Blue Jays coming in and a lot more, a lot more uh, fans are coming in to watch games. So let's go ahead and download this offline area. It's gonna download. And then we're gonna add a couple of points. What we'll see here is what's going on in the background is a separate version is getting created for this downloaded map. This is what is going to allow users to work with an isolated set of data. So let's go ahead and add a couple of points here. And then what we're going to see is then we can sync these edits. That's going to sync. And then what we'll see is back in ArcGIS Pro, we can look at the versions. What we see here is we're connected to the default version of this bike rack location. The problem is we don't see that data. If we look at the versions, manage versions, we see that there is a version that was created for that user. If we change to that version, then we can see those points that were added. What we need to do to see them in default is reconcile any edits that come in, if needed, any edits that were posted from other branch versions to default. That's a required step that has to happen. And then we post those edits. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what the default version is going to look like now after we reconciled and posted those two new bike racks. They're there. And then just in case, the, since we are working with the feature layer uh, from Portal, We'll go ahead and also take a look at how it looks on our web map as well. So I'm going to zoom in, making sure that these layers are there, and also the new features are there as well. So that's what we're looking at. That's what we went through is where we saw that we can create separate versions for each map that's downloaded. That allows us to work in the field with branch versioned data without posting edits directly to default. Thank you all. Have a great day.